Andrew from Mercado. <coughs> is this the uh, first actual very large scale application of the urban sims modeling? In this region, yes. Um, in terms of in terms of this region, we we started the process in the last plan in the EIR when it was adopted in 2013. So that was a kind of a bit of a road test for the urban sim model. Um, so this is, I guess, sort of the second application, sort of more of a full scale application for this plan. Um, it, it, it was a model that was uh, that was put together by UC Berkeley. It is uh, it is used um, in other parts of the country and in the world. In terms of doing land use modeling, I would say it's it's state of the practice. I, I won't call it necessarily state of the art. Um, and you know, it's fairly adaptable though. Um, you are able to populate it um, with a lot of assumptions. And I think it kind of gets back to, um, you know, the more you can really drill into local planning, local zoning, perhaps other ordinances happening on the local level that we may not know about, that we have to talk to local officials to really get the details. You know, we can populate the model with all that detail. Um, and so I think a lot of it is, I think it's very powerful and can be very transparent um, if we start early and really involve the locals in the process. Can be. <clears throat> the other areas of the country and the numbers uh, of uh, population that were involved, uh, where are those? How, how many millions of people were involved in that? And how many iterations have taken place? in other areas already? Um, I don't know. Um, it, it's used in the Pacific Northwest. I believe that Portland's looking at it. Phoenix has been using it. And these are, so these are metro areas. Metropolitan um, rather than that's right. nine county. Well, it's, they're, they're, they're NPO regional planning agencies, so they'd be our counterparts in other metro regions of the country. Um, there is application to use it on, on the local level as well. You could use it on a smaller geographic area or a larger geographic area. but. Um, in terms of MTC and ABAG's use of the model, this is not the first metropolitan region to use it. It is used in other regions of the country. So this is really the first large-scale iteration of the model, model in the Bay Area. Is that correct? I think that's correct. Mm -hmm. I think that's correct to say, yeah. So you've been saying that it will be refined, and uh, if we get enough local input, it will be refined. And so what it's really doing is it's learning as it goes. We have a model that learns as it goes. And right now, it doesn't know very much about the local uh, area, the smaller towns. Well, I will say that it's it, it starts with the local plans and the zoning. <coughs> and so um, there was a lot of work at the outset to populate the model with that information. So I think where it gets a little bit trickier is that in some cases, local plans may be outdated. So some of them may be old, they may be 20 or 30 years old. And even though we may have a zoning designation in some way in a town, that doesn't necessarily mean it's that way when you get on the ground. And I think those are some of the details that we have to continue to learn and to make sure we populate the model with. You know, it's, it's a parcel-based model, and it's a big region. Um, so I, I think as we move through this process and evolve, it, it's sort of getting some of those details on the front end built in. OK, I'm also interested in following up on the end game uh, question. We definitely have a model that, to me, seems to be being uh, driven primarily by the economic boom. Uh, it seems to have been driven by the uh, nascent boom and now the uh, well-fledged boom in Silicon Valley. And it appears to me that as long as economic development continues to boom, and as long as this area continues to attract industry and other financial investment, then the rest of the population will be required to accommodate that. Now, this is a model that is primarily an economic model. And this economic model has no ending. There is no end in sight. There is nothing about a carrying capacity for an area. And definitely the Bay Area is fragile, and it has a definite carrying capacity. We don't want to be Singapore. We don't want to be Hong Kong. 
and we don't want to have 25-story high-rises in every uh, area which is now suburban. Uh, 